welcome to the new SEC football dynasty. Whoa, wait a minute. Uh, sorry about that. This is based off the football dynasty. Welcome to the new SEC basketball conference championship game. Uh, featuring the Alabama Tech Generals taking on the Key West State Mighty Manatee. Yes. <laughs> Look here. Uh, something that I uh, wanted to do. Well, I'm going to be doing um, is the, uh, the SEC, uh, the new SEC conference. Uh, the dynasty that I'm doing with football. I'm going to uh, spin off basketball. Um, but we're only going to cover the conference championship. We're not going to do any time into the regular season. Just, uh, just, just going over uh, the results of the season. And then a quick top eight teams playing for the uh, championship in the tournament. Uh, mini tournament and seeing which players might might rise to the top to uh, be candidates for the, the uh, CBX uh, draft in the coming years. Uh, anyway, uh, so this is kind of like a spur of the moment thing, so I, I really didn't take the time to set it all up. Only just Highlight that there are two two of these players, and the reason why I did this is because these two players uh, they play football for their respective uh, respective uh, universities, but uh, they also are prospects going into the CBS draft. Uh, Mr. Fagan over here for the uh, general. play basketball so um, they didn't get drafted so uh, guess what <laughs> since they didn't make it to the NFL maybe there's a chance they can make it to the CBX so here they are uh, playing for the first championship and this little intro is going to be so we don't uh, let the commentators take over and uh, as the game is being played Thanks for watching, and next season, we will do the entire tournament, this time, just to change the game. So, uh, hope you enjoy, and we will catch you next week. Thanks for watching. Jump out at you, but he is so valuable during big games, particularly in the postseason. Parham. He's covered by Ingram, and looks that's like green. the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. He's guarded by Thornton. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. There to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Here's Nader. And the shot goes in. Oh, he's seen this. Trailing by five. From outside the arc. Good on the three-point shot. He's... Nader the pass to Ingram. Shot from the top of the key. And that's good for two. Here's Thayden. And the layup is good. Haas off with the layup. Gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. 
46 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Vaden. Buries the long-range jumper. Out to the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Nader. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Out left to the wing. Here's Vaden. That shot off. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. The away team up by one. He's only going to get better. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? I mean, the rebounding was the difference in that first period. You've got to block these guys out. Yeah, rebounding can also be just about will, and they showed some of that in going in there. In player development, Brent. Roll and coming off into a spot where you're making the correct reads. It's much like, and you cover a lot of football, where you can talk to quarterbacks about their check down confidence in shooting the basketball. You just want guys to feel like whatever shot they're taking, they've got a great chance of making it. And it's Mack in at the small forward. Takes a shot at the elbow. Good as the jump shot fall. Not him. Nader kicks to O'Brien from downtown. Mack, good. Mack for two, we're about two minutes in. Here's Vaden. Gets to the rim for two with the T all over him. Down low. Plays it up and in off the pretty assist. Parham's got his... Ingram outside. The shot will not fall. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Releases, and Labissiere gets it to go. Not clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And Mack kicks to Ingram to stop the drought. Here's O'Brien. Doesn't go that time. And here is Labissiere. Caffey. Oh, to beat the clock. God, what a play. That is fun to watch. Let's it go at the very last second. Oh, man, that's got to be frustrating for the defense, too. You just give up momentum like that at the end of the quarter. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. The away team up five. Boy, you should be there. And they got the assist to show for. Their rhythm was nice. Just five on the clock. Passes to Labissier. Here's Parham. Good on the triple. Parham's got seven. Porter, they have definitely increased their energy level here. Our second half of basketball. And presented by... Out to the right wing. The good-looking shot from the wings. Right, you. When you find a, a front office, when you move from franchise to franchise, for where they just wanted you to show up on time, get there. So many other things well, Kevin. You feel so much more valued for doing it better than others. That will always be the case. Right. But the idea around finding more completeness uh, for what it is you provide a player is a great thing for everybody. Hands it from downtown. He has five. He couldn't Out stay in bounds, and that's going to be a turnover. Yeah, the bot. Switch. Ragland. He's guarded by Thornton. From deep. And that one is off. And after burying three straight shot opportunities, finally a miss there. Still feeling the momentum, though. Mobley, the pass to Thornton, takes the alley pass and dunks it down. And as most of us expected, Andre Iguodala continues to be a huge factor for anybody that he plays for. 
with his athleticism waning just a little bit, it's his experience and know-how that impacts the game the most, just being in the right spot at the right time, taking the right calculated gamble. Andre Iguodala still impacting games at his age. Oh, oh, man. Man. Oh. How about 149 left here in the third quarter. Kept alive, Raglan. Shooting foul as the whistle blow. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And he was 73% from the line. Second free throw, no good. Being pretty good tonight at 48%. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Here's O'Brien, and there's the turnover. Pass going out of bounds. That's, that's, you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. The pass to Parham. There's the three. No good on the shot. And really the smart thing would be to hold for the last shot. Yeah, every second right now is valuable to you. That should be their strategy. To the paint. A floater. And O'Brien gets it to go. O'Brien's got his second bucket tonight. Oh, such a feel shot there. The floater. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. And we've watched three so far in this one. The away team, they lead by six. Now here's Ingram. From the arc. And he's good on the three ball. That's to Labissier. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Defended by Labissier. Pass to Mobley. Shot clock at five. From 13. Not going to go that time. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Here's Faden. Score the bucket. He's knocked away. Here's Taft. Got a piece of it. Goes back up. Parham passes to Labissier. Fires the three. And no the third quarter. The dish to Ingram. Trills the three-pointer. And we... Here's Labissier. No good on the three. On two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Here's Ingram. Banked in off the glass. And you don't like our chances. There's no need for hero ball. Trust one another. Make the simple play. Back to Thornton. All alone. It's rebounded by Labissier. Gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. Here's Parham. No good there. Gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. It's good. Man, it doesn't matter what time of game it is. Andre Iguodala ready to see. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. But an errant shot like that can definitely cost you any kind of momentum. Have to use better judgment there. Here's Labissier. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Labissier's got five points now in the quarter. Great job of screening there. Knight, the most of them. Haas, defended by Labissier. From about 16. And the ball goes out of bounds. Turned over. And that's just... Five to shoot. That one a little long. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. Bounce pass Ingram. And he comes up with the deuce. There's 18 seconds left here in the fourth. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. So he can't get either to fall. And Eric Spolstra wants a timeout. 
What's your take? They've shared the load offensively. And guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react, and that's what you want. Gets the first, and that makes it a... Second one is good. Getting... Fires for three. Gets the three to fall. Number 16. The visiting club takes the win on the road. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They be a season. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge. Game. And he's been dialed in from the field, Kevin. Good on over 60% of his attempts.